Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I want to talk about where I have ended up with my Victorinox collection. Now this is by no means all of my Victorinox knives, but this is all of the ones that I actually carry. And recently I did a huge knife sale in regards to all of my Victorinox knives, and a few didn't sell, um, a few people lowballed me, um, a few people backed out. You know, it's just name of the game when you're selling something you know people are either going to try to bargain with you barter or uh, try to work out a deal and when it comes to a knife like let's say um, my tinker and you can get one for 20 bucks and somebody wants to pay 10 and they want to have free shipping i mean it's not going to happen so uh, a few of these actually stayed behind but the majority i've actually sold off and i believe they have all gone to really great guys so um they will be enjoying those uh they probably depending on who they are um may be putting out a video in regards to what they got from me so just keep an eye out if you know who you're looking for um so very quickly let's just go over what i ended up keeping okay so one is the ranger okay the ranger has a main blade a pen blade a metal saw okay and then it also has a wood saw and then you also have scissors over here and then you have your opening layer back over here and then you have a chisel you have a I guess what they've been calling it, um, collectors and stuff, but they call this a machinist's screwdriver. I just find it another screwdriver. So it uh, has that on the back end there. Then of course it has the very hard to get to parcel hook. And then it has the awl and then the corkscrew. And this one I ended up just keeping, um, I was gonna throw it into a lot, but then I just thought about it and, and thought about how useful this Ranger is actually in the garage for me. I use the metal file on this a ton when I'm actually uh, machining movement rings or if I'm having to do a very small filing job on a watch stem or anything like that. So for me having this in the garage or in my watchmaker's desk at home actually is a great tool. So ended up keeping that one. Um, I believe this is called the Evolution 10 or 13. I cannot remember off the top of my head, but I've been carrying this for almost the entirety of the time that I posted that knife sale. This has not left my pocket Pico from Urban, uh, not Urban Outfitters, but um, Urban EDC. I, I cannot remember, but it's, it's called the Pocket Pico, and it holds everything I need in the day, including this knife. And this is essentially a Tinker Small, uh, but it's using the Delamont tools from Wenger. But what it adds is a nail filer, and I find that to be very useful, and I ended up keeping that one. That was actually one of the five that I ended up keeping, and then the rest of these just kind of stayed around. Um, I'm sorry, I felt a sneeze coming on, and it didn't come. Um, this is actually one that I pulled out of my private collection. This is a standard and I actually have about five Victorinox standards that I've just decided I won't sell. Um, they're from the early 80s. Um, I also have one here from 75, 76 and these standards are just, these are knives that I really love. Um, I really like these just for the simplicity and for the scales. And I ended up pulling this one out just because um, I have used it, I have sharpened it, and it's not perfect, but I thought, you know what, why not throw it into the rotation? And so that's another one that I ended up keeping. Um, I had a few of those, and I actually find them to be going up in value, surprisingly. Um, people are asking about 35 bucks each for those, um, apparently. So having a few of those is actually a good deal. Um, this here is the Mountaineer, and this one here is one of my top EDC uh, Victorinoxes. And this one essentially is a Ranger, but you do not have the metal saw, not the metal saw, the wood saw. So you have all those other tools except the wood saw 
and you do not gain a machinist screwdriver or anything like that. And I just want to keep myself honest here. Yes, so you lose the you lose the uh, wood saw in this one, but this one here is just great for urban EDC. The metal file here is a great nail filer, but it's also great for um, activities that you might have within an office setting. Um, I've actually found this metal saw to be very useful to sharpen the teeth on that staple claw thing that you use to remove staples. Um, I have found it very useful to actually fix the teeth on those. So, kept that. Um, I ended up keeping this Spartan. Um, it has my name on it. I found this on eBay for about 10 bucks, and um, I felt justified in keeping that. Um, it's your just standard Spartan. Um, this one is actually probably from the late to mid 1990s. And uh, this one here is just special because it's got my name on it and I decided to keep that. Um, here is one that I had a few people come to me after but they kept asking way too low of a price for and this is a sportsman. And this is a modern one. This one actually has the modern nail file on it. And I actually find this to be one of the greatest Swiss Army knives that you could probably carry in the city or out and about. It's an 84 millimeter knife. It's essentially a Spartan, but you lose the small pen blade and you get into an 84 millimeter frame and you have that nail filer and nail cleaning tool. So for me, just decided to keep that. Excuse me, I got the sniffles here. Um, this is a recent acquisition. This is the Watchmakers watch opener from Victorinox and um, this one here I have plans for I'm still thinking about how I'm going to be modifying a Victorinox knife I'm trying to build a jig right now and I am trying to decide how I'm going to film it so uh, this one here is recent but I do use it um, over here is a champion now this one does not have the pliers but this is just a champion and I threw on an Olight IR, uh, I1R2 Pro. Now, uh, this here actually lives in my kitchen. Um, it is usually the knife I grab when I'm in the house, doing some chores, doing some handyman stuff, and this thing just ends up doing almost everything that it needs to do in the house. So, ended up keeping that just primarily because it has everything I need and everything I don't, and I find it to be very useful. Now, yes, that one does not have the pliers, but I have actually just found myself, instead of grabbing that, I grab the Hercules here, and that actually has the pliers. And I find myself using this outdoors more than anything. Um, a few of you have actually asked me to do a follow-up review. I believe I've already done that. But um, you can just see, based upon this wood saw here, um, I use this all the time, and it was a very easy choice to keep this Hercules. So there's a Hercules, and then here's one of mine that I chose in my top five. Uh, this is a Spartan Light, essentially the same thing as a Spartan, but what you get is the 3D Phillips driver, and I use this almost every day, um, maybe even every other day. And then this over here, I use this quite a bit. Now, I went and visited my parents recently, and um, they didn't tell me that their garage door, not their garage door, but their garage light actually wasn't working. So luckily, I had this in my pocket. They asked me to get a few things out of the garage quite a bit on that visit. So uh, this was very useful and surprising on how bright it actually gets. So this is a great travel EDC, and it's one that I ended up keeping. Um, this one was a gift from Tobias. Um, not really a gift, but it was payment for a knife that I actually restored for him. And this is the floral knife with this beautiful little clip blade. And for me, I use this quite a bit outdoors. So that is one I've kept. And then here is, I believe, a prince or a princess. Um, I think they've called these. And this one I just carry on the weekends. Um, this essentially has a small blade. And then it also has the nail file and that is it i usually carry it over here in this little pouch just so it doesn't get all boogered up and i usually carry this on saturdays and sundays it's a great great church carry and something wonderful to have in your back pocket 
So ended up keeping that. Then this last one here is the Tinker. Um, this is the Tinker and for me, I am going to be doing my review on the Tinker. I've actually sold the one that I bought and this one is actually the one given to me by Tobias as payment and I could not get rid of this one just because it came from Tobias and I like him. So I sold the other one, but um, to be fair, uh, the other one was in pretty good condition. I ended up sharpening it quite a bit. Um, I did use it. I didn't really abuse it. I abused it, but I mean, I wasn't stupid with it. So I think that this tinker here will actually carry over well into my review on it and how well it holds up. So that is everything. Um, that's all of the Swiss Army knives that I actually carry and I ended up keeping. Um, yes, it's not very many, but it's not also five. Um, I did the five primarily so I would try to push myself to sell what I didn't carry. Um, I was accumulating a lot of knives and a lot of stuff and for me I think it's always good to kind of force yourself out of your comfort zone, see what you really need to get rid of and then keep what you love. So right now this is what I enjoy and what I love when it comes to Victorinox. Um, some of these I don't carry as much as a few of the others. I probably would have to say I use the Swiss Champ, the Hercules, the Spartan Light, the, I think this is the Evolution 13, um, and the Mountaineer, the absolute most. So if like I, have, I, if I had to have five, it'd probably be these. These I use almost every day in some way or form. And then the rest of these I use probably on a weekend or once a week or every other week. So thank you guys again. I know that this was kind of a, um, uh, a, okay, you know, this is what you ended up with video, but I just wanted you guys to know that this is where I ended up on the knives that I carry and the Victorinox knives that I really do enjoy. Because a few of you were asking me, well, where did you end up on your sale? Where have you ended up in your collecting of Victorinox? And for me personally, I am still collecting the rare stuff. Don't worry. I'm still going to be bringing a lot of unique knives to your attention. And when I find them and I'm able to get them, I will show you. But if I am not able to, Swiss Army Grizz, over on YouTube is doing a great job with his channel and bringing up a lot of unique knives and interesting content. So if I am faltering and I'm not bringing you enough, go check out his channel. He is bringing out a lot of good stuff. So till the next one, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.